Hello, my name is Clayton Cameron. Welcome to The Living Art of Brushes. You know, brush masters like Sid Catlett, Chick Webb, Denzel Bess, Papa Joe Jones, Philly Joe Jones, Ed Thigpen, and Max Rose, just to name a few, have all shown that brushwork is truly an art form. I mean, each of those artists I've just mentioned have all added style and nuances that have set the standards for brush tradition. The Living Art of Brushes is an instructional tape that will show you basic brush strokes. We'll isolate your left hand, your right hand, we'll bring them together. And then through actual performance, you'll be able to see and hear some possible applications. In keeping with the brush tradition, I will also give some original approaches to the brushes. But before we go on, I'd like to get some insight to the origin of brushes. And I'd like to introduce to you a man whose collection of ethnic drums from around the world has earned him a place in the who's who of music. He's also an author. He's written a book called Drums of the Americas and Drums, Dr. Joseph Howard. Hello, Doctor. How are you? Listen, thanks for having us into your home. It's my pleasure. Now, what do we have here? Well, we have a collection <clears throat> of drums from all the continents. Here we have Native American, Americans, period. Europeans, Asians, Africans, Caribbean. Mm -hmm. Over here. Oh, here, here we have some unusual one. This is a brush. Now the brush was first recorded in New Orleans, Memphis, and then up and down the road. Mm. The only thing that I have that is similar, found that is similar to this are these oh, the, uh, fan, fan sticks. sticks from Japan. From Japan. Now these are used on the uh, Soshiban, Soshiban, which yeah. is an idiophone. That's right, the, a skinless drum. Right. We have one of those right here. Why don't yeah. I pick that up? Yeah, listen, and this is used in dance music, right? right. Japanese right. dance, dance music. music. Yeah. Now, you, if we look at this, we can see that each of these, they have like a similar shape. shape uh, yeah. This is This is flat. And the, of course the brush is flat and it's kind of spread. And the original one was flash water. The original brush? Brush. Oh, okay. Which is also flat like this. And right, okay, so there you have it. So the original, the origin of the brush is actually the flash water. Absolutely. Coming out of Louisiana. Right. Great. Now if we take this and hit the uh, idiophone of the Soshiban, it's got like a, a flat uh, sound. Mm -hmm. Is this how they play it? They don't use the polyrhythms like you use it. Oh, they okay. use the single <laughs> rhythm. <laughs> All right, so that's the uh, idiophone and the uh, fan sticks. Mm -hmm. So looking at all the materials used for each of the uh, different sticks that I see here in the Native Americans wood, we have wood in the European, uh, I mean an American, Europe, European we have wood, over here we have some metal and even a, a shank bone. Um, and here we have, uh, the, in the African, have some rubber. At rubber tips. Rubber tips. But it seems that the wire is exclusive to the uh, brush. North America, Af African American, that, that's typical. Typical, of, okay, so it's exclusive. Of his, of his instrument. Mm, okay, great. So there we have it. So the, the brush originating in uh, Louisiana as a fly swatter yeah. is exclusive to Afro-American music. Right. Great, all right. Listen, Doctor, thanks for uh, helping us out here. And, uh, man, My just pleasure. keep collecting. All right. So right now, let's go to the fundamental section of our video. There are several brands of brushes on the market, and depending on the type, there can be three to four parts. You have the tip, the body, the shaft, and an optional push rod. As we go along, you'll be able to see and hear how all parts are musically usable. The conventional pattern, good for all tempos.
Now let's have a closer look at the left hand. Starting near the top of the drum, moving in a clockwise motion, your brush should be touching the head at all times. To add a heavier accented pulse, press more of the body onto the head at the beginning of the beat. Then relax as you round the bottom of the drum. This stroke is one of the most integral, therefore it is important to practice until it is smooth before adding an accompanying stroke. Each circle should equal quarter notes or half notes. One, and, two, and, three, and, four, and, or, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Now let's look at the right hand. Playing the traditional swing pattern, beats two and four will be on the left side of the drum. Beats a one, beats a three will be on the right side. One, two, three, four. Now let's look at both hands once again together. There are a few important points to remember when choosing a brush. Number one, make sure it does not rattle. That's usually caused by a looseness between the push rod and the shaft. Number two, your brush should have at least a three inch or seven to eight centimeter spread to ensure you a good brush sound. And number three, watch out for brush burrs. That's the little piece of wire that sticks up between the body and the shaft of the brush. If you have one of those, just turn it over and play on the other side. Slide tap. Good for slow, medium, and medium-fast tempos. Okay, let's take a look at the right hand. Playing the traditional swing pattern, only you will slide around the top of the drum on beat one, tap beat two, lift, play the pick up to three, slide around the top of the drum on beat three, tap beat four, lift, and play the pick up to one. One, two, three, four. Let's look at both hands in slow motion. The left hand is playing the conventional circular motion in half note values. Let's look at this graphic as the right hand does its pattern. Sliding on beat one, the right hand crosses over the left. 
tap B2, lift, play the pickup, slide on B3. Cross over the left hand, tap beat four, lift, start all over again. Over, under, good for very slow, medium, and medium fast tempos. Okay, now let's look at the right hand. Starting on beat one, slide around the top, side, and bottom. Loop back at a three o'clock position, accent on beat two. Lift, play the pickup to three, slide on beat three around the top, side, and bottom. Loop back at a three o'clock position, accent on beat four. Lift, and start over again. One, two, three, four. To create the accents on beats two and four, press the brush into the head, then pull your fingers in towards your palm. Now let's look at both hands together. The left hand is doing the conventional circular motion in quarter note pulses. Now let's look at the graph with the right hand. The right hand crosses over the left, loops around, then passes underneath the left hand, hence over under. Over the left hand, loops around, passes underneath. Brushes should always be played on a coated head. A smooth one would produce little sound, if any. When playing brushes on a new coated head, you find the sound can be a bit coarse and your stroke production a little rough. The traditional remedy for that is to take a fine piece of sandpaper and brush it across the head. Try your stroke again. If it's still a bit rough, sand until satisfactory. Billy sweeping it, good for ballads, medium and medium fast tempos. OK, 
Okay, let's look at the right hand. Starting on the left side of the drum, slide on beat 2. Lift on beat 3. Slide on beat 4. Lift on beat 1. Start all over again on beat 2. Each slide is the equivalent of one quarter note. Let's look at both hands together. The left hand will be doing the conventional circular motion in half note values. It will be starting together on beat two with the right hand. Now let's look at the graph as the right hand does its pattern. Sliding on beat two. Lift on beat three. Slide on beat four. Lift on beat one. Return and start over again on beat two. The Gallop, good for fast tempos. Okay, let's take a look at the left hand. Starting near the bottom of the drum, sweep up on beat one sweep down on beat three. If you're counting in cut time, sweep up on beat one, sweep down on beat two. Let's look at the left hand again, counting in cut time. One, two, one, two, one, two. Now let's look at the right hand. Starting on the upbeat, counting in cut time, and a, uh, rest on one, and a, uh, rest on two. One, two, one, two, and a one, and a two, and a one, and a two. Let's look at both hands together. One, two, one, two. You know, I've been asked if match grip can be used playing brushes. My answer is this. If you can play the demonstrated patterns and obtain a good sound, why not? I even use a slight variation on the traditional grip, as you will see later. The next patterns we will do are very similar to the ones you've seen, except the left hand will be moving in a counterclockwise motion, giving a slightly different feel and sound to the player. Counterclockwise conventional, good for all tempos. Okay, let's look at the left hand. 
With your palm facing down, starting in the top of the drum, move in a counterclockwise motion. The brush should be touching the head at all times. To add a heavier accented pulse, press more of the body onto the head at the beginning of the beat, then relax as you round the bottom. Each circle should equal half notes or quarter notes. One and two and three and four and or one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. When accenting the pulse, keep your hand low to the drum and apply pressure to the shaft with your index finger. Then relax as you round the bottom of the drum. Now let's look at the right hand, playing the traditional swing pattern. Beats two and four are on the right side of the drum. Beats a one and a three are on the left side of the drum. One, two, three, four. Now let's look at both hands together. Counterclockwise slide tap, good for slow, medium, and medium fast tempos. Okay, let's take a look at the right hand. Playing the traditional swing pattern. Slide from the left side of the drum on beat one. Tap beat two. Lift. Play the pick up to three. Slide on beat three. Tap beat four, lift, play the pickup to one, and start over again. One, two, three, four. Now let's look at both hands. One, two, three, four. The left hand is doing the counterclockwise circular motion in half note values. You've probably noticed that I've been playing with the snares off. Many artists have made recordings with the snares on as well as off. It's your artistic choice to play either way. Counterclockwise over under. Good for very slow, medium, and medium fast tempos.
Okay, let's look at the right hand. Starting near the top of the drum, slide the brush around the top, side, and bottom. Loop back around a 9 o'clock position, playing a sweeping accent on beat 2. Lift, return, play the pick up to 3, slide on beat 3 around the top, side, and bottom. Loop at a 9 o'clock position, playing a sweeping accent on beat 4. Return and play the pick up to 1. 1, 2, 3, 4. Let's look at both hands together in slow motion. The left hand will be playing the counterclockwise conventional circle in quarter note values. On beat one, the right hand will slide over the left, then continue around the right side of the drum, then pass underneath the left hand at the bottom of the drum, then makes a sweeping accent on beat two. Lift, play the pickup to beat three. Slide on beat three, passing over the left hand. Continue around the right side of the drum, then pass underneath the left hand at the bottom. Make a sweeping accent on beat four. Let's see that once again with a graph highlighting the right hand. Sliding on beat one, the right hand crosses over the left hand, continues around the side of the drum, then passes underneath the left hand, then on beat two, sweeps and passes again underneath the left hand. Lift, play the pick up to three, slide on beat three, passing over the left hand, around the side of the drum, underneath the left hand, sweep on beat four, passes underneath the left hand again. Under the rug, good for all tempos. Okay, let's take a look at the right hand. Starting on the and of one, slide your brush from right to left, lift, play the and of two, lift, play the and of three, lift, play the and of four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. The left hand will be playing the counterclockwise conventional circle in quarter note values starting on the downbeat.
Notice how the circle is smaller than most of the other patterns. Let's look at both hands together. One and two and one and two and. Notice how the right hand sweeps underneath the left hand. This pattern can also be played with the right hand starting on the downbeat and the left hand playing the upbeat. All right, now let's hear some of the strokes and patterns used in actual performance. Enjoy.
The Gallop, palm down, good for fast tempos. Okay, let's look at the left hand. Counting in cut time with your palm facing down. Sweep on beat one, lift, then sweep on beat two. One, two, one, two. The right hand, starting on the upbeat, plays and a uh, rest on one and a uh, rest on two. One, two, one, two, and a one, and a two, and a one, and a two. Let's look at both hands together. One, two, one, two. Toss salad, good for all tempos. Okay, let's take a look at the right hand. The right hand plays a clockwise circle in quarter note values with an accent on every beat. One, two, three, four. The left hand plays the counterclockwise circle in quarter note values with an accent on every beat. Let's look at both hands together. One, two, three, four. Let's see both hands in slow motion. Watch how the right hand passes underneath the left hand on the upbeat, then passes once again on the downbeat. Underneath on the upbeat, then passes once again on the downbeat. Let's look at this graph. One and two and the following strokes are what I would call specialty strokes. They're used for soloing, filling in the music, and playing additional styles of music. Rim roll. Start with your tip of your fingers, then roll to the end of your palm.
Tip of the fingers. Roll to the end of your palm. Rim flex. At point of contact, make sure your hand is below the rim. Then rotate up around the rim. Hand below the rim. Rotate up. Snap accent. Just pull your fingers into your palm, hitting the brush flat on the head. Double strokes. Practice as you would with sticks, pulling the brushes out of the head by accenting the second beat. Trill. Here I'm using the palm down method, moving my middle finger back and forth. Here my palm is up, with the middle finger moving back and forth. Butterfly flex. Just practice. Tip tap. Windmills. More practice. Windshield wipers. And more practice.
Now that you've seen the video, I hope you'll find some of the strokes and patterns useful and keep the living out of brushes alive. Mm -hmm. 